Okay, this is Vula. It is a screen capture program and screen recorder. It's not a full video editor, so if you want a screen recorder with full video editor capabilities, then you may, this may not be for you, you may want to look at something such as I Show You Studio or ScreenFlow. But still, this is a very good recorder. And if you plan on editing your screen captures in a program such as Final Cut, this may be exactly what you want. So let's just take a look. You can do a full screen capture here. Here is various sort of selection modes. Now this is for doing screenshots here, not videos. Here is to capture a screenshot of a particular object, such as a window. This is to capture a screenshot of a menu, such as if we drop down this window, we could take a picture of this drop down. Then we have record. This is for video. So we can record the whole screen or just a selection, such as a window. Web is to take screenshots from websites. Let's have a look. Let's enter a web address. Okay, we're at the BBC's official website here. So now, let's have a look at options we have. We can take a screenshot of the current page. Select and snap a scroll in region. Select and snap a DOM element, such as click that and we can select a particular part of the web page like this. We can then select and snap DOM, DOM elements, but it's just PDF. So we click here, we can save as a PDF file. Let's just hit done and go back to the main screen. We can then open a current URL. We can snap active browser URL and we have camera. So if you have a web camera attached or you're using your built-in FaceTime camera, you can record from that or you can add that to your screen recording. We then have an iPhoto library, mail, to mail images and videos as attachments. We can publish, so let's have a look at a drop down. Basically, you can configure accounts such as Vimeo from here and print. Then we have your organizer and media library which also has some tools, so if you've taken a screenshot, you can add things like um, arrows to it, a marquee, a stamp, a blur, erase a part of the image out. This is just for images, not for videos. It's a video here loaded, so we can't edit it. It's only for screenshots, not recordings. And some effects here to adjust, such as the skew and the edges and the crop here. Again, only for images, unfortunately. It would be nice if some kind of editing capability like that was added to videos. And I don't mean whole video editor with full timeline because this isn't what Valar is. It's not that type of screen capture program, but it'd still be good if you could do a few basic effects and adjustments there. Then down the bottom, we have basically a list of any screenshots and videos you've taken. Here is a preview of the video, or you can see and edit your screenshot here. You can play, rewind, fast forward, use a scrubber here. And then to the right is trim video. So you can trim like you can in QuickTime Player, but that's it. We we'll then have show or hide browser view. This is the latest version of the software at the time of making this review. It is 3.8.1 by Global Delight Technologies. Let's have a look at preferences. We can show it in the menu bar. So there it is here. And this will flash with a red dot if it's recording. We can start the program in the menu bar at launch. So when you boot up your Mac, do you want to keep it in the menu bar when you... Uh, when you quit from the dock, do you want to show the main window after capturing and recording? Do you want to show a magnifier for your captures? 
Do you want to show keyboard tips while recording? Remember previous capture and recording area from the last or size you used? Do you want to show annotation after draw select an annotation after the drawing? Do you want to save it as a web archive? Do you want to show the bar position on the left or right? And do you want to change where its software library is stored to? In this case it's put it in my user folder, then pictures, then its own folder. Capture. You can copy last capture to clipboard. You can capture the mouse pointer or not. You can turn off drop shadows for object capture and various other options there. Then we have recording. What's the maximum frame rate? In this case, 60 frames a second. If you know you're not going to re say try to record a game, then you can always do 30. But if you go to record something with a bit of an animation, you might want to boost the frame rate up a bit here. Compression type, just JPEG, motion, basically JPEG, or H.264. I would recommend you keep it at H.264. You can scale down the video by one times while recording. I probably would just leave that unticked. You can install or uninstall the uh, Vula device, that is, so you can basically capture your system audio. Export. What's the default format you want when doing this and that? And do you want to have applications to export images? And you can select, say, Pixelmator when you export PNG. You can send it to Pixelmator. Sharing. You can set up an FTP account to share it to, or uh, upload it straight to your YouTube account, your Dropbox, your Google Drive, your Tumblr, or we can hit here. And see if there's anything anything there that's not listed and we can go to hotkeys and sh set up our shortcuts here such as full screen capture menu capture stop recording and we can restore defaults edit is very basic the only thing of interest really here is trim video and if you're dealing with images you can resize the canvas and image from there Create collections, view here or customize your toolbar or go full screen. You can do adjust layers here. You can share and export the video from here. So you can save it as a movie or a quick time movie that's 480p, 720p or 1080p depending upon the resolution of what you captured. Save it to be uh, compatible with the iPod Touch, or the iPad and iPhone and Apple TV, or Macs and PCs, or web. You might just want to keep it at movie, just at least to start off with. You can sh uh, send mail, send iPhoto, send another application such as Pixelmator if it is an image. Publish to AirDrop or Vimeo and various other things here we can configure. Basic Windows menu, basic help menu with a help file, what's new, tell a friend, raid it on the Mac App Store, visit their website, contact support and view acknowledgements. What I would like to see added is an option to send a video to Final Cut Pro as say a Final Cut Pro XML. There is another program, and I can't think of what it is off the top of my head, but I think it was another screen recording program. It had a send to Final Cut Pro 10, and you could send it there and edit it. So it would be good if this had some way to send to Final Cut your video file, and then you can get edited in it straight away in Final Cut. So what are my suggestions for this program? Well, I would like to be able to add some things to videos from within the program such as maybe you could have a way where you could scrub across to a certain part of the video and add an arrow to point something out like you can on a screenshot then scrub a little bit further where you want that to disappear and have it not basically not be there so you can sort of have it from say I don't know, frame 200 to frame 500 or whatever you have an arrow pointing at a button uh, I think it would be fairly easy to do. 
just something basic like that so you can point things out if you need to and it's in a type of annotation in a way that seems to be only possible with screenshots I would also like a way to send directly to Final Cut Pro 10 once you've recorded so you can edit it once you finish recording but apart from that that's the only suggestions I can think of at this time I do recommend this program it's very good it supports up to 60 frames per second which not all screen recorders do and you can add a webcam if you want you can take screenshots of objects such as menus it's really good so I recommend you check out the trial it is available it is available both from them directly and from the Mac App Store so thanks for watching please like and share this video and if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe as it only takes a few seconds and help me out a lot thanks